Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a South Park after show. Even though you're hearing the Whale Wars theme song. An ominous after show. You remember that episode of Whale Wars of South Park? Yes, very well. It was uh, it was quite funny. Um, we're switching it up because we've switched up a lot tonight to the fact that not only do we have Chrissy Olsen here. Hi, everybody. But we Glad finally to managed to get Stephen Lemieux and Chrissy. Yes. In the same studio, even though they're not in the same space of the studio. <laughs> yeah, this no is more apparently Ebola. Apparently, as close as he will get to me. I do not have Ebola, but they still segregate me. <sighs> Sorry about that. That's right. <laughs> um, tonight's episode called Cock Magic. Ooh. And both ways you could have taken that. So many they kinds used of it. cock magic. <laughs> So brilliant. Uh, this will be interesting talking about cock with uh, Christy. <laughs> is that the new show name? Oh, I like that, yeah. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> Talking. Whoa, hey. I know what my next web series is going to be. There you go. <laughs> All right, definitely check that out. We'll put the link at the bottom of the description, so tune in for that when it launches. Um, <laughs> overall thoughts? I loved this one. I thought it was good. After being so freaking confused last week, I thought it was nice to just kind of have a run-of-the-mill, funny, you know. And but you you never really saw Magic. You didn't. I mean, you haven't played Magic. I haven't played Magic: The Gathering. No. But you know of it. I know of it. And actually, after seeing this, I have to say, I am a little interested in playing it. I think Stephen and I, and I'll let Stephen speak. But we we played Magic. Um, him probably more so than I. Thanks. And it made was <laughs> of course it made us want to play. Stephen, you. Yeah, I. Uh... You know, it, it's interesting to me because I watched this episode and I know that the humor is going to be lost on a lot of people, just like the Wacky Races episode. But at the same time, I know that people know that there's playing card games that the kids play out there, so hopefully people can still find humor in what is actually going on. That it, being said, I totally played Magic because I was homeschooled <laughs> from like 6th to 8th, 6th to ninth grade, so yeah, I, I kind of am a big ass nerd in that respect. And I like the fact that um, the the humor of cockfights wasn't lost on it. Mm -hmm. And it, but the irony is it made it more humane, which made it more um, uncivilized in yeah. the eyes of South Park. But yeah. on one side you have you have the cockfights where they're fighting with with uh, roosters and they're playing magic. Then you have Randy doing the cock magic where he's using his cock, but then they're using Magic the Gathering to be manly because they're talking about, yeah, this is the manliest thing today. That was so hardcore. <laughs> Uh, okay, so in if we let's play a little fun game. There's, uh, we'll call it Rooster Magic. Okay. We'll call it just ma Magic the Gathering, girls volleyball, actual cock magic, <laughs> and we need a fifth one. Uh, what we use is the fifth one from tonight's episode. Uh, like topics or what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rate what's the most man. Oh, and we'll say wrestling because remember we'll tie it back to an episode where they did wrestling. All right. So out of these five things, what is the manliest? Is it <laughs> women's vo volleyball? <laughs> is it rooster magic? Is it cock magic? Is it magic or wrestling? I'm gonna say cock magic because if you have that much control over your cock, that's pretty uh, impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think making that particularly manly is the fact that you have to be a man to do it. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, I, that, that could would, go for women's volleyball, too. That's true. That that's was a low true. blow. Yeah. It's all right. That was a joke, guys. <laughs> Failed attempt at humor. Don't kill me. What was, uh, I really loved the, the joke about, um, uh, Whatever Stan said about how uh, sport requires skill and something else. Right. I thought that was funny. I love that his face after he's like, and now the captain of the women's volleyball team will say something, and it's windy. And he's just like, 
I was waiting all episode for Wendy to get out and get up there on her feminist soapbox and do her Wendy thing. Yeah. It never yeah, that's, happened. That's a good point. We didn't we didn't see that. Yeah. I don't think she needed to. There was no words that she needed to say. Because that, Stan true. just knew he was in the doghouse after that. That's true. And I thought maybe she was taking a different approach this time. She was doing the whole kill more but catch more flies with honey than with vinegar and instead of speaking out and annoying everyone she just let it be and she still got everyone to come watch a volleyball game well she didn't really but her, end, re her end result was what she wanted so take note ladies did she want people to see her game or did she want to still play volleyball because of the you know because remember the coach says uh we had an amazing game we hammered them but the turnout was bad. Right, that's true. So now the game sucks, but the turnout's great. But they get to win either way, so I feel like they could probably be on board with that. They're probably I don't know. okay with it. The girl with the pigtails got killed in the end. That's we didn't like her anyway. You know how his chicks are. You're right. <laughs> oh no. my. But I mean I love how they tied it in with the police and everything and okay, so the cops are after the co the mad the cock magic. Randy's doing Cock, cock magic. magic, but the cops want the cock magic that's being run out of the illicit Chinese restaurants, <laughs> which of course Super Walk is where their first underground cock magic fight comes shitty in. Shitty Walk, Shitty Walk, yeah. I always no, never walk. forget Shitty Walk. No, Shitty no. Walk. I did think Five that the, the this is actually a. Uh, I think this is like a takeoff 21. I think it's more of a, a film trope where it's always like the the back lot underground Asian rings of gambling kind of thing. In 21, they had it where it's like the secret casino where they introduce them, introduct, In induct them, induct them into the ranks of the MIT gamblers. And now this is like the the underground ma cock magic ring. I think Matt and Trey just have an obsession with Chinese food. And Cox. And Cox. I mean, hey, it's when always about the Chinese restaurants. And I also thought when they were said a well-established chain, I was pretty sure we were going to PF Chang's. I don't know how Panda Express got in there. Ah, oh, that's uh, that's right? yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, and I personally prefer PF Chang's. So. Yeah, I mean, well, PF Chang's is a restaurant. Shitty Walk is a kind of still a, is a restaurant, but more of a fast food joint. Panda Express is a fast food joint. True. Yeah. So, but yeah, so I I, I can see your point. Yeah. So they go to get their own cockfight. Well, Kenny is the one who's really good at playing magic. So he's beating kids, and it's slaughter. It's savagery, so hardcore. So they get inducted into this magic cock or cock magic, and they go to get their own rooster because they want to partake in cock magic. And they, Aww. I love how each rooster is based in like this one likes to use the white cards and use protection spells and it's a slow game, and the free the free range roosters just slow everything down with their with their field control. Which is ironic. I mean, if you play video games, you know, uh, Final Fantasy with their chocobos, uh, mo you know, they're bred to be very specific. Some are fast. Some do this. Golden chocobo. There you go. That's what we, we got. McNugget was, could have been the golden chocobo, but he wasn't. Aww. It was Kenny. But he was so darn cute. <laughs> he was. <laughs> oh, man. Let, I want to talk about my favorite scene um, because a couple of things happened. When Randy saws off his penis, <laughs> at first you think the trick has gone wrong. Yes. But it's all part of the <laughs> trick. Quick, quick, quick. Check behind your ear. Check behind your ear. Oh, that, that poor sick. little girl. Her birthday will never be the same. That, she, that is sadistic <laughs> twist. What? I just think Very the unexpected. fact they can they can get away with just the tip. Like, if you think about it, like <laughs> the last time they showed a wiener on the right. show was when they had the dick attached to the mouse. Because it technically wasn't a dick. It was like a protrusion from the mouse that looked like a dick because they were growing it on a mouse. Same with the ear. Um, and now we just have like the di the tip poking out sides of the napkin randomly, and now it's like, oh, look behind your ear, and it's like literally his dick behind a little girl's ear at a birthday party. I love the parents like, oh, we got the magician ready, honey. Oh, they're loving it outside. Oops. Well, you guys were surprised that they showed all that? I was watching with my husband, and he said, I can't believe they can get away with that. And I was reading recently an article about how a lot of even the network shows have gotten a lot raunchier, and no one just really cares anymore. Everyone's trying to out-raunchy each other, and South Park started that, so they're not going to get out-raunched by 
two broke girls a scandal. Yeah. I thought I would be interesting to know. I wonder if they had a cap on the number of cocks they could say because they switched it to rooster and maybe they used it for comedic effect or whatever. Mm-hmm. But Stephen asked me like. Um, I forget what the full exact question was. How many how many cocks do you think they used? And I said they used up their limit, if there was a limit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, what's their goal? Their goal is probably the, the limit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the question. What was their goal for the for the number of cocks they said? And I said, whatever the limit was, that's what the goal was. So around this time last year, we were getting the trilogy of Black Friday. Oh, yeah. And do we have an episode next week? Do you guys know? I don't. Think so? Let me check. It's I'm always it's always a mystery. Sure. Always a mystery. It, it depends if they decide to make one. Yeah, right. They maybe don't even know yet. Um, so the cops find these flyers that say cock or uh, cock magic at uh, Panda Express at night, and they all come up and bust the drown right before Kenny beats out. What is the what is it? Gabzag or whatever? Gadzoo. Gadzu, ga, ga, Gadzok, yeah, the the slaughterer, the god slaughterer, and the which, by the way, I like how they have to die just by playing cards. Like, oh, my rooster never stood a chance. <laughs> Still live. <laughs> Poor guys, right? Not not in cock magic, Phil. Not, not in cock magic. No. Did you guys notice how detailed the audience was? Oh, Everyone yeah. wasn't just like yellow and the same. There were specifically crafted characters. Oh, they back always there. do that. It's great. ESP and illegal. <laughs> the alien, the aliens in the first uh, in the first cockfighting ring. The what? In the first cock magic ring, the aliens in the background in the first one. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's an alien in every South Park episode, and it's really hard to find sometimes. But this one was there. pretty easy. Um, Interesting little Steven. bit of trivia. Yeah. <laughs> Why have we never shared that with the fans? I didn't know that. Wait, you didn't know that? No, because clearly we talk about it every single episode. <laughs> there is an alien in every single South Park episode ever made, well, hidden somewhere. Well, why does it, why shouldn't that be a special segment that we talk about every week? Where's the alien? Where Where's the alien? I never freaking see the damn thing. Well, then why don't you guess and we play a guessing game and then the fans write in and they tell us where the damn alien is. How yeah, about that, Steve? Yeah. Involve the audience. Fans, Always instead, instead of commenting on our YouTube videos with fuck you and motherfucker, how about you guys <laughs> use some binge. useful information and tell us where is the alien in every episode? Yes. To be fair, I do want to stand up. Yes. Um, what I love... Um, the average Howard Stern fan listens for an hour and a half. The average Howard Stern hater listens for two hours and forty-five minutes. Wow. We get a lot of that, but that is unbelievable that people spend their time that way. Well, it relates directly to us because. No, no, no. I mean, it's unbelievable that they spend their time doing something that they bash. Yeah. Yeah. No, they should spend their time watching After Buzz. They just shouldn't spend their time YouTubing that I'm a dumb bitch afterward. So should we do some? Uh, let's do some comment shoutouts from YouTube. Okay. You do the positive ones. I'll do the negative ones. I want to do the negative ones. They're more fun. All right. All I'm right, gonna stand I'm up for. Um, Stephen, look up the name, but I think it's, it's like Trini B. Boy. Trini B. Boy. He really stood up for us, and he said, "Hey, you know what?" Guys, if, oh. if if you guys are if you guys are tuning in for a recap, you respect what we're doing, and whatever else. And so, I, I appreciate I appreciate for those of you who stand up and who enjoy this on a weekly basis. We try to be obviously the show's absolutely ridiculous. So how can we not go <laughs> off the rails every now and then? But so thank you guys for the fans that watch and listen to us regularly. Steven, the haters. We love the haters, too. We love the haters. <laughs> Kadoom Abdulatif, motherfucker. <laughs> Zexa84, fuck you so much. Sha Ming, fuck you, exclamation point. Ooh. Uh, Nick's Gaming Channel, dude, what the fuck is this? Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, what the fuck? And then somebody replied with, an ex- with a question mark, and he says, thought it was the episode. Will Burgify, you suck, dude. Old fuck, 1864. Dat vocal fry. And Kadeem Reeves says, great show, good discussion. And then Rodell Austria says, yay, a new host on South Park. Yay. Shout out to you, Christy. <laughs> and Thank you for that. I appreciate that. On last episode, we have eight comments. And they are, I think a few of them got flagged already. I uh, think a few got flagged. <laughs> yeah. You, by the way, just YouTube in general. First off, 
you guys are horny. By using the word, <laughs> it just it just tells me that you guys are horny. And second off, YouTube just automatically thinks of it as spam when you write the word fuck. Yeah, exactly. So try not to worry. Right, be a little more creative in your Look hatred. Look as a challenge. So our video has 35,000 views, 41 likes, and 185 dislikes. <laughs> And oh. Avi Strife says low ratings probably come from the fact these loser posers post the name of this video as the episode in question so they get hits. Seems like a low ball way to be a piece of shit. But anyhow, on with life. You guys have explained that so many times. Would you like me to take a crack at it? Go for Go it. Ahead. All the episodes of South Park, new and old, are available at southparkstudios.com. Yes? Yeah. And you can see them there for free. We are not trying to say that we are the episodes, but we'd love you to watch our show also. And if you look in the title of our YouTube YouTube says clearly after show after buzz tv that's Good right job. Uh, yeah. shout out to jaron creed says <laughs> wow why the low ratings did people think the whole episode would be on youtube what a fucking joke people are <laughs> <laughs> and then our point exactly there you go and then actually some some positive comments. Thomas Daly says, Com customer service bit got me. Huh? Good episodes and butter kicking his dad in the balls. <laughs> yeah. uh, Callum Armour, why do these two sound like they're speaking in slow-mo? I don't know. Maybe you don't have a fast computer. Duke Chronic, that it's was a trippy episode and good review. Too bad the Ebola got to Steven. Fuck you. <laughs> and Stephen Ethan said, boasting a creative and well-executed virtual reality storyline, grounded Vindaloop, kept me guessing until the very end. That's Ooh. right. See, I, those are the comments. When, when you guys actually discuss the episode, that's what we're here for. Right. That is what we're here for. Not the verbal abuse. <laughs> like, we that. like that, too. <laughs> uh, On some days. Um, what was your favorite cock magic trick? Ooh... Ooh, I well, I suppose probably at the end, what? where he where he froze it, I'm shot a Barbie it girl. off, and then it came out of the mouth. Okay. Oh, the Barbie girl! Yeah, let's talk about that. The random dude. How random. <laughs> Hello, well, that, Barbie. Let's go. Barbie. That is the guy from Aqua, I believe, was supposed to be the bald guy with the yeah. big eyebrows. Do you think they had to pay to use the song and to pay for his likeness? Mm, uh, probably just the song. His likeness comes along with the song. Yeah, he is Barbie girl. That it's, was a random one, though. I love how the drums always just started kicking in, and then in the bathroom, there's a drummer in the bathroom <laughs> while Randy's, like, practicing cock magic. <laughs> it's Why making a comeback, drums? Sharon. It's making a comeback, Sharon. Stan's even getting into cock magic. <laughs> It needs oh. to be handled by. I, I like that's why we learned that uh, he got kicked out of college because of it. Yes. So. This is really becoming like the Randy season. It is. It's, it's like the Randy he show. Is Lord. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Randy to me has always been my favorite because he's, as much as Cartman is just this whiny, like, kid, mm -hmm. Stan is, or uh, Randy is the ultimate civilian father. Who's just everything about that? Like he just wants to forget about his BS life and just whatever nonsense can happen. <laughs> let's do. That's true. And uh, I love that spirit. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are that way. And, and if they, could, you know, if they could literally do cock magic, they, I'm sure many more depressed middle-aged husbands <laughs> would be doing cock magic. I think my favorite. Uh, I think my favorite cock magic was when he go he shoots his dick off, but not that part. But when he says, now open your mouth, and it comes out of the police no. officer's mouth. <gasps> yeah. Least expected. Uh. Which, by the way, what is it saying about the police? Are they, you know, obviously everyone left, took the opportunity of the distraction for him to leave, for them to leave. But it's the cops that are so enthralled with this. Does it mean that they just like cock magic? Do they like cocks? Ooh. I mean, I think you'd be enthralled too if somebody put, like, levitated their dick through a hope and then <laughs> shot their dick off with liquid nitrogen. I mean, I I wouldn't look away for a second. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, I'm surprised everybody left, you know? <laughs> Spent a night in jail to see that, right? I <laughs> guess, yeah. Um, I wonder why he didn't, like, do another saw off trick. <laughs> Was it was doing the gun and nitrogen enough? I loved how the parents call the cops and the cops are like, well, what kind of deck was he using? Well, well, who called 911 first? And they drag her off. See ya, mom. Um, now, f let's talk about, let's finish up with the ending. Seems like a fitting place to end. Okay. Um, what did we think? <laughs> uh, we're playing volleyball while a, while a rooster is playing magic. McNugget. <laughs> Everybody got what they wanted. McNugget's good. They get the People are watching the girls' volleyball. Yeah, why the heck not? 
absurd. <laughs> I mean, what would you rate this episode? Honestly, like I'd give it I'd give it a solid 6 or 7. Because, I mean, there's definitely been worse episodes and there's been better episodes, but it had me laughing. The scene with the kids, uh, the kid party, like, I lost my shit. That was probably one of the funniest things I've seen this season, honestly. But as an episode as a whole, it was av- yeah. above average. It was, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be my favorite. And well, I, I may revisit this to show people, but um, at the same time, yeah, it's, is it, it's, it is what it is. I liked it. I did. I, You know, every week I kind of have my fingers crossed and I'm hoping that it'll be something I can relate to so I can come on the show and not sound like a moron. So I'm always kind of fingers crossed for like, you know, Real Housewives or veganism or... And we had a little an- anti-animal cruelty today. So, hey, yeah. you know. We did. The free-range chickens good. suck. Yeah. And they, they're only used for uh, slowing down tactics. Well, they reminded everyone that the roosters were in small cages. And I think any time that you can... Remind people about the plight of the animals. It's a good thing. I like how Kenny's the one who like really cares too. Yes, that was surprising. Commendable. That's right. Ah. Anything else to discuss on tonight's episode? Uh, well, Comedy Central has a new SVP of creative, and she is a she. Miss Lou Chakowsky will be helming Brand Creative. All right. Sweet. Yeah. Well, you know, hopefully, uh, no, hopefully, people understand. Like, don't mess with South Park. <laughs> right. Let them do their thing. <laughs> she came from MTV, so she's probably cool. Yeah, I like, think she'll be all right. All right. Yeah, well, it's all in that same Viacom company, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in yet again for another South Park after show. Love us or hate us. We got to 22 minutes, so we're technically now tricking you into thinking it's the episode on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Hooray! <laughs> Go accomplished. I'll have to explain it all again next week. God damn it. And uh, if the people want an explanation on Twitter, where can they uh, tweet you or Instagram you or whatever? The- oh, hit me up. It's at Christy Reports, Twitter and Instagram. And let me know what you think. I love to talk to people. I have a very sad life, so tweet me. All right. And uh, Stephen Lemieux, where can people send uh, hey, congrats mail. on uh, congrats on surviving Ebola? Yeah, yeah right. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Stephen Lemieux and check me out on two weeks, Sons of Anarchy penultimate episode and then the finale in th- four, three or four weeks or whatever it is. Just tune right. in. Yeah. Cool. And follow us here at AfterBuzz TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Keep those comments coming. We hope that at least... Talk about the episode, please. A little bit, at least. Um, but hey, I'll take the fuck yous, too. Um, <laughs> see you guys uh, maybe next week, maybe after Thanksgiving. Who the F knows? From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.